Hey everybody, it's Justin the Diabetic here, and this week's video is going to be about my Medtronic 770G. Um, it's a little different, and I kind of am a little nervous about the future um, with this pump. So uh, in this week's video, we're going to dive into why and why I might be leaving Medtronic. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, just to give a little background information in case you're new to the channel. Um, first off, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe uh, so that way you stay up to date uh, with my future videos and hit that little notification bell so that way you are notified when I do receive, or excuse me, when I do upload um, new content, you will get a notification um, so you can watch it. So to give you a little background information, um, I've been on the 770G for a little over a year now. Um, I started this YouTube channel when I received my 770G um, around April 10th of 2020. Yep, that's correct. So um, it's been a little over a year. Um, I like the 770G. I really like auto mode. Um, however, I've been discovering, I guess I got to discovered um, this issue with auto mode. Um, and it came to light more of about... Uh, the end of April of 2021 and the beginning of May when I started to diet and lose weight. So um, most of you, I'm pretty sure you're going to get an alert um, if you are using auto mode that says BG required. Well, if you do not provide a blood glucose input to your pump within two hours, it will exit auto mode. If it does, there's a good chance that you will see under your assessment and progress report on CareLink that your auto mode exit reason was because of a sensor algorithm under red. And I know you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Basically what that means is your sensor input or your sensor, da sensor data is being interpreted as the pump and your blood sugars have most likely been extremely stable over the past couple hours and your pump thinks that something's wrong with your sensor but you'll go check your blood sugar and your sensor is very much accurate. At least that's the case with me. Um, I get this error most often when I'm asleep um, at night or during the day, it just kind of varies. I do work shift work, so some mornings I'm asleep and some mornings I'm at work, kind of just varies. Um, but that brings forth a concern. If you are familiar with Medtronic pumps and you are familiar with auto mode, with auto mode active, you have no safety precaution if auto mode gets turned off. So if your basal rate is a little bit more aggressive um, as far as your insulin delivery than what auto mode has been giving you and you have this sensor algorithm under red auto mode exit while you're asleep and it's been you know two hours and you haven't provided the pump of blood sugar, it'll exit auto mode and start delivering you basal rates that are set up in manual mode. I know you think that's not really a big deal, but if it is just a little bit aggressive with the basal rates and it starts to trend your blood glucose down and you start to have a low, there is not a single safety mechanism in place on that pump to stop insulin delivery. It will literally pump the normal. So over the past two weeks, I looked at my assessment and progress report and through that report, it has logged six auto mode algorithm or sensor algorithms under red, which means that I have exited auto mode six times over the past two weeks. Now I'm going to stop right there and say a lot of the time I will realize that I'm in safe basal and I will provide the BG that the pump wants. But there are times when I'm asleep, I work shift work, I take a lot of melatonin because I need to sleep when I need to sleep. So sometimes I'm, I don't hear my pump beeping. I could be laying on it. It could be muffled while it's stuck on my body. Um, I had two instances in the past two weeks where I had a blood glucose of less than 70. And the reason because four hours prior, it entered the safe basal and then exited auto mode two hours later and started delivering basal rates. Luckily, I naturally woke up because I felt my sugar getting low for one instance where my blood sugar was less than 70 and one instance my blood sugar was less than 50. So with that being said, 
If you've been following along with the channel, when I first discovered the issue, I have talked to my endocrinologist about it. I have talked to my pump trainer about it. I have talked to my clinic, the clinic uh, manager for the pump trainers in my area about it. We have replaced my transmitter and we have replaced my 770G, not because of this issue, because of a crack, but both 770Gs and both transmitter still do the same issue. Nobody can tell me how to fix it. I've been on the phone with Medtronic technical support for them to act like I was crazy until they start to look at my data and see that this issue is occurring. Nobody can tell me how to fix it. So there is a 75% chance that over the next few months, I will be leaving Medtronic. I will be stepping down as an ambassador and I most likely will be changing, changing back to the Omnipod with the Omnipod 5 system. I have already started the process of getting my insurance benefits checked with Omnipod and Dexcom. Um, like I said in last week's video, I had the Omnipod previously. All of the complaints that we had with the Omnipod when I previously had it have been resolved with Omnipod 5 as far as smart smartphone control and stuff like that. Um, I just, at this point with this Medtronic pump, and I'm pretty sure this video is probably going to get me an email or something from Medtronic. But at this point, I do not feel safe with the pump. Um, I still am using auto mode. I'm being very generous and keeping a very close eye on it as far as these alerts and giving it what it needs. If I need to, I will resort back to manual mode. But I am doing um, keto again and um, kind of some intermittent fasting as well with that. So auto mode is the best solution currently for the insulin demand that my body needs um, because I'm varying between some one day I had 38 units I used and one day I had a, a less than 60 units. So it's kind of got a 20 unit fluctuation there that auto mode is doing the best at keeping me with my time and range. So I am still using it. I'm just trying to be very um, delicate with it. Um, my work schedule has just swapped, so I will be um, asleep normally during the night um, instead of early in the morning like I was previously. But if you are getting all of these BG alerts and your pump just says BG required, I'm pretty sure you're going to have the same issue. Um, I look back for when I had my 670G and the issue was there, but it wasn't as noticeable. Um, it was way less frequent. Um, I would be willing to bet that I get a BG required message on my pump anywhere from one to four times a day, depending on the given day. And that is on top of two sensor calibrations every 12 hours, if not a third calibration on some days. Um, if there was a dramatic difference between my blood glucose values and my sensor values, I would understand why this BG required is needed. However, there's not a dramatic difference. Most of the time, my sensor is reading about 110 or something like that, and my actual glucose value is between 105 and 115. So it's very close to what the sensor value is. So um, I, I don't know, guys. I just say I really enjoy auto mode. I enjoy what it is. Um, but I think it's kind of time for something new. And... Um, I'll be very sad to leave Medtronic, uh, to be honest, if this is what it boils down to. And I do end up leaving. It's going back to Omnipod and Dexcom. Um, I've been with Medtronic for seven years, and um, I've mastered the control of my diabetes with Medtronic. And I'm going to be a little upset, but um, I don't feel comfortable with the way that my lifestyle and my work schedule is uh, with auto mode at this point. Um, especially for as much as we pay for these insulin pump systems. Uh, it would be nice if somebody could at least kind of give me an idea of what's going wrong. I have made various pump changes trying to see if, okay, maybe it's because my basal rate's really high, so let me kind of recalculate my basal rate and change those, and it doesn't seem to fix the issue. Switching my active insulin time doesn't resolve the issue. Changing my insulin sensitivity doesn't resolve the issue. Um, my carb ratio um, is almost perfect, so that's not the issue. Um, I've troubleshooted and tried to resolve this issue for well over probably 10 months now, and um, I, I can't. 
Um, I've asked multiple people and I've tried to resolve it, um, but I can't get any help with it. Um, so I am going to uh, attach my CareLink reports, um, kind of a, a daily overview, as well as uh, the assessment and progress report. I'll put the assessment progress report right here so you guys can see. Um, you can see it's comparing um, the two week period versus two weeks prior and give you all that information. And you can see that that uh, sensor algorithm under red is pretty much the only reason I'm leaving auto mode. Um, very occasionally I'll get a, a, back, a max or a minimum uh, insulin delivery alert and I'll have to deal with that blood glucose for that. But for the most part, um, I mean, I'm, I'm doing really well in auto mode. And then now I'm going to show you the weekly overviews to where you can see um, what my pump was doing, excuse me, not weekly, the daily. Um, and you can see the two days in question, I will put a box around them and kind of give you some information so you can point out the issues. You'll see where auto mode stopped and I entered safe basal. And then shortly after that, it went into uh, exited auto mode and went into my normal basal rates, um, which have been adjusted for my diet. Let me give you that. Um, my basal rates have been reduced to about 60 units a day, which is what I average with the diet versus the 120 units a day um, I typically needed. So um, I am adjusting those so that way if I do exit auto mode, it's not a lot of insulin that I don't really need. So I'm trying to be safe with it, but to me this is a very, very um, big safety concern. And I think that uh, hopefully, Medtronic is aware and they'll resolve it, but I don't think so. Um, based on the comments that I've seen on Facebook groups and people who've commented on videos stating that they have problems with their sensor and they're constantly having to enter blood glucose readings, I am willing to bet 80% of us are having the exact same issue, but it's so hidden within um, the reports that it's very hard to find. If you're curious, if you're having the issue, when you get that BG required, just wait, wait the two hours, let it exit auto mode, and then give it the BG and go right back in and go check your um, assessment and progress report and see if if you've got it on there. Um, I mean, that's the only thing I can tell you. Uh, at least then you would know exactly that's the alert that's tricking, uh, being tripped for your um, auto mode. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the 770G will tell you if you have an alert for minimum insulin delivery or maximum insulin delivery, and that's why you need a BG, but this literally just says that BG is required. Um, if you guys are currently having this issue and you have the feeling that you're in the same boat as I am, uh, drop a comment down below. I'm kind of curious to see um, how many other people um, could potentially be having the same issue. Um, other than that, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I haven't fully decided to go with Omnipod yet. I'm still kind of waiting for some information to be released. Um, that system might not be perfect, but it could be different. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, just let me know. And if you don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps these videos get out in YouTube's algorithm to, to uh, other diabetics um, who are, or other people who are looking at diabetic content. So definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, that like if you like it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.